Good morning, gang. Happy Saturday for me. 0515. <laughs> Question for you. Do you have enough time in the day to get everything done that needs to get done? Yeah. There's, it takes a lot of time to do what we do. And that's on top of doing your normal stuff. I mean, feeding the kids, helping with homework, go to your job, you know, doing whatever. <clears throat> I remember being a kid and a couple of stories here real quick on Saturdays today. Okay. My parents would not let my brother and myself go downstairs to watch cartoons until seven o'clock in the morning. We'd be up at the crack of dawn, sitting at the top of the stairs, waiting for the grandfather clock to chime seven. So we'd go downstairs. You know, it's time that I see people waste like crazy. And everybody goes, oh, I don't have time to prep or I don't have time to garden or whatever it would be. Yeah. Okay. Old Army phrase when I joined the Army, maybe some of you remember this commercial. We do more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. Okay. There's a lot of truth to that. Here it is, Mrs. P and I were talking about this yesterday. We were going till about 8.30 yesterday. Finally, it got relatively dark and we couldn't do any more. We were sitting on the porch shelling peas. It's summertime. The heat gets to you, especially down south here with the humidity and things. So you have to come up and plan your day accordingly. When am I going to do what? Now... I'm waiting for the sun to come up, and I'm going to go out and get some stuff done this morning at 6.30 in the morning. I don't care, all right? I'll be somewhat respectful to others, depending on, you know, I mean, I've got a couple of people that live close enough they'd hear me if I was running a chainsaw or something. I'm not going to do that. But I'm sorry. I got to get work done when I can get work done, when it's not too hot to do it. So I will get outside and get my outside stuff done in the morning between 6.30 and, oh, I don't know, 10.30, something like that before it gets too hot. Then I can come inside and do things like mm, canning or whatever. I mean, yesterday, Mrs. P and I were sitting here all afternoon canning pickles, chopping up vegetables, canning kimchi uh, to put back some of our harvest. Yeah, I mean, cabbages and cucumbers and things like that were already harvesting. Okay? Got all that done. In the evening, it was going out and picking peas and shelling peas because it's too hot to do during the day, so we'll do it at night. Planning your day as a prepper is enormous, you know, I get the fact that people work, okay? <laughs> if it wasn't for COVID, I would be too. Okay? I have just wanted a persona non grata because I won't work for somebody that requires the jab. Uh, so be it. But when Saturday rolls around, which is the time that most people have to prep, working people, you know, because the rest of the week you're at work, all right, get your preps done. The, oh, I'm going to sleep in till 10 o'clock is not exactly a good idea. And I know a lot of you don't, okay? Probably 95% of you are probably up the same time I am and doing things. But every, every day we get new people that come to the channel and some are new preppers. And I want them to know this is what it takes. Prepping can literally be a full-time job because there's a lot to do. And I'm not even talking about homesteading. I'm talking about prepping. Homesteading is a full-time job. There is no question whatsoever. I don't have animals, so I don't have to worry about feeding animals and all that sort of stuff. So th there's a difference. But the amount of time that I spend and that y'all spend too, tending your gardens, pulling your weeds, doing your watering, whatever. 
your basic stuff around the house. Canning. Any of you that can know canning is not something that's quick. I mean, you get going and that you're spending a few hours in the kitchen to make one can worth of, you know, one uh, canner worth of food. You know, hey, if you're canning meat, quartz, 90 minutes in the canner, plus the heating of the water, plus the cool down time, yada, 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 let alone prep, everything. So it all takes time. And time is the one, I talked about this once before, the one prep that you don't have enough of. That was probably a year or so ago. The easiest way to get around this is to start planning your day. Just like you do in your regular job. Treat this like a regular profession. You know, every every day the boss requires you to be in the office by 8 o'clock. Okay, if you got to be at work by 8 o'clock Monday through Friday, make sure you are at work doing your prepping, whatever it needs to be, by 8 o'clock on Saturday. Your body won't know any different. It's just another day of getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning, drinking your coffee, going along, and doing your thing. The only difference is you don't have the commute today. I get Sundays going to church and things like that. Okay, I'm not getting on anybody for that, certainly. But start planning out what you're going to do rather than go willy-nilly. You know, you, you think of going to the store. Do you make your trips? Gee, I'm going to Walmart, and I'm going to the grocery, and I'm going to the hardware store, and I'm going to the gas station all at one time. Or do you make three trips into town during the week? Waste of time, waste of gas, et cetera, et cetera. Organization in prepping is huge. We've talked about inventory for uh, your food. You know, I've talked about Prepper Nerd's inventory system in the past. Organizing your time is crucial because, again, I'll go back to the, we do more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. In the military, everything is scheduled, okay? There is, I mean, you know that clock. You look at any soldier. Any soldier wears a watch. Why? Because at any time they need to know what time it is. Because you have a formation to go to. You have an appointment to be at. You have guard duty. You have different things throughout your day that are scheduled. And you need to be there at that time where you will catch hell. Okay? Trust me, you do not want to be late for formation. All right, you'll be doing push-ups forever. Uh, but plan your day accordingly. And, and you'll get used to it real quick. I mean, if you're at home every day, commit yourself to being, all right, by 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to be up coffee in me and do whatever, you know, and starting watering the gardens. Okay. And you know, if, like me, I've got four garden A gets watered on Monday, garden B gets watered on Tuesday, C, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, rinse and repeat, whatever works for you. But I mean, I look at the projects that I've got to do today. Okay. I've got to plant my carrots, I've got to can those peas. I've got some yard work that needs to be done. Those are three things that have to get done today. Now, could I start canning peas right now at 5.30 in the morning? Sure. Is it a good idea, a good use of my time? No, because it's a cooler point of the day. Can I get outside here very shortly and do my yard work? Yes, because then later today I can can the peas in the house when I'm in the air conditioning. Now would be a good time to get out and do my yard work, to plant my carrots, etc. It comes to a little bit of thinking because in an SHTF situation, okay, let's say we have an EMP or whatever, and you are now living in your little community whatever would, you know, however that is, whether it's just your family, whether it's you and neighbors, however, wherever you are. This is exactly what's going to happen. 
because when you get into the heat of the day, now you have now you start risking people from heat injuries. If you don't know what heat injuries are, we've talked about those before too. You don't want to have to all of a sudden have somebody go down from heat exhaustion, or God forbid, heat stroke. And now you need a couple of able-bodied people to take care of this person, provided, of course, you've got IVs and you know what to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all other stuff that doesn't get done. Plan your day accordingly by the weather, by the heat, by the rain. If you... You know, you heard me bitch yesterday about it not raining. Why? Because I had planned my day around the fact that it was going to rain all day, so I couldn't get anything done outside. Then it didn't rain, and I'm upset because there's a lot of stuff I could have got done outside, but it wasn't raining. Okay. Yeah, I know what y'all say. Well, you go outside and do it in the rain. Okay. Planting in the garden, walking in the mud is not exactly a good idea. You're not getting things done correctly. Planning, organization, having a plan is paramount for a prepper because going through life willy-nilly in normal times is a recipe for disaster. In SHTF, it's a death sentence. Come on out.